But first, I'm hearing, strolling in here Monday morning, been off the internet all weekend, that we're getting canceled again. Oh, we're getting heavily canceled by Ukraine. I don't know if it's Ukrainians or people that are upset that we were trying to take advantage of Ukrainian refugees. I'm pretty sure it's the former or yep. the latter. I think, yeah, it's not Ukrainians. Definitely they, I think not. They don't give a fuck. I mean, there's a couple of people that might have a Ukrainian flag in their bios. I was checking it out. But yeah, I mean, these people just don't understand satire. I mean, we don't. I mean, yes, I would have loved to have sex with Victoria. Yeah, she does say, follow me. Nothing satirical right? about what you were trying to do. No, yeah. But I mean, you can't come satirically on. fuck a girl or you can. You can't satirically. Or, how would you satirically fuck a girl? If you wear clown makeup, it's satire. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't. You can fuck the ugliest most disease ridden woman mm -hmm. and as long as you got a red nose on doesn't okay. count you can cheat you can cheat as long as you're wearing face paint mm -hmm. you hear that it doesn't count your wife can't get pissed well, would you ever like what hitting it would you ever just say just a, a corny joke while you're fucking a chick doggy style like a why did the chicken cross the road type <laughs> joke you think you can get it all out and still stay it, hard it, well, yeah, similar to that i haven't tried something exactly like what you're talking about but i did do a mud flap impression once when i was inside my girlfriend from oh missionary. <laughs> i remember that yeah i put you my penis about in her pod. and i just started going oh, oh, so that was the end of that oh it's saturday gonna have a couple beers film a video <laughs> she got leo turned off doesn't capture just it instant instant fucking just it, All the wetness gone. It felt like I was fucking a crack in the floor of Death Valley. <laughs> Leo, this cancellation Dry, drives though, a motherfucker. Drives a motherfucker. It's not a, it's not a heavy cancellation. I mean, uh, there's a guy that's a pretty well-to-do. He's like a good-looking guy that's that has a blue check that commented though. And that bothered me because he's from L.A. Uh -huh. and Chris D'Elia follows him. Uh -huh. He doesn't follow back though, which is weird. I don't like that. And he's he, big time in Crystalia. Yeah, and he put it on his story. What a fucking that's asshole. That's what I'm most guy. pissed about. Yeah, that's what I'm pissed about, too. Should I DM him right now and yeah. say that? Fuck yeah. This guy, say, dude. you know what? I don't care that you're trying to bring down me and my boy. Yeah. I care that you don't have the decency yeah. to support the canceled legend, Crystalia. Yeah, what the fuck? You know, bro? he's done a lot for Poonhound comics. This guy, look, look, it's on a story right now. Look, I don't know these two, but I'm hoping at the very least this is passed around so these two unfunny losers are canceled immediately. Bravo. Bravo. Below me. This man Wes is worthy of carrying the comedian Wesley banner. Wesley Okerson, dude. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? I Let mean, me he's, a, he's a good looking guy. I'll give him that. Well, you like him because almost all of his photos are shirtless. Well, he's a fitness guy, but he's married to a look. I'm going to be honest, dude. Wes, I'm sorry, but I think you could do better. Man. She's not. I don't want to be a dick. She's not as I think you're more attractive than she is. She's listen. She's uh, batting. I don't know what. I mean, listen, she's doing a little better than you. You know what I mean? Like, you got to aim a little higher. Usually, men pull a woman that is more attractive than them because they have a higher self, a sense of self than a women usually have a lower sense of self. So they pull, you know, somebody that's not as attractive as them. Yeah. A good man is a it's a scarce commodity. OK, mm -hmm. this guy's not a comedian, so I forgive him a little bit mm -hmm. because he doesn't understand. They don't get it at all. You know what? I was Should I write them that the Leah thing, though, or no? Like, hey, buddy, he'll probably hear about it. He'll uh, probably find out. He'll probably find out. Don't what? worry about it. Uh -huh. Listen, I've been thinking about this whole cancellation thing, and it's interesting. I was thinking about it before we even got quote unquote canceled. You know what made me realize? Fuck the people on Twitter. Fuck these nerds posting commentary videos about our content. What made me realize that was that Ricky Gervais is being called oh, by yeah. almost every media outlet unfunny transphobic and not worthy of the title comedian ricky gervais like the media or just like the media like bloggers like a, like a fat B chick what somewhere i'm talking about big mainstream they're definitely left-leaning mm -hmm. but if you google right now ricky gervais all that's going to come up are major online outlets talking about Ricky Gervais, the champion of picking the low-hanging fruit. Ricky Gervais, he's out of good material, so all he can do is punch down. Just this guy, I watched the special, and I encourage everybody else to do it in order to support him in the algorithm and let Netflix know they made the right choice by promoting him, signing him, putting out him. I watched that fucking special. It's a goddamn work of genius. Yeah, he's and one of the best. Maybe 3% of it, Leo, is about trans people. Mm -hmm. Maybe 3%, but Good all jokes. the reviews... Dude, it's incredible. He's got a bit about how humans and our ability to feel remorse and guilt 
is exclusive to us. You never see a cat out there like, I shouldn't have killed the mouse. (laughs) I didn't have to torture him first. (laughs) Which is hilarious because cats kill and torture torture yeah, they're, they're notorious then kill it. things before seen, they don't even eat them i've seen brando torture a moth for hours he tortures the moth mm-hmm. he rubs his nuts on it mm-hmm. and then he goes to sleep right and it, it was left half dead and the next day i didn't see it anymore he might have eaten it in the middle of the night but i know it was like it died a very slow and horrendous death yes and yeah. that's the kind of material that ricky gervais can make hilarious seemingly banal observations about animals And that was most of the special, was all these other topics, not transphobia. But still, he's getting canceled because transphobia is the hot topic right now. You know what else is the hot topic? Have you ever looked down in the Twitter thread? You know, when Elon Musk posts something inflammatory, posts something about blasting off a rocket, which is controversial these days. I don't know how we got to that level. Used to be a moment of national coming togetherness when we shot off a rocket. When he posts something about his political beliefs or affiliations, if you scroll down, Leo, into the Twitter thread, you know what you see? Ukrainian flags next to everybody's name. Oh, yeah, because they need to support the current thing, of course. Exactly. And I have a suspicion, I mean, Elon has unearthed this, that most accounts on Twitter, not most, but a hefty amount are bots. Yep. And I start this, a lot of these responses and a lot of this fake outrage, I suspect mm-hmm. is led in part by bots. My cancellation was led in part by bots. I mean, the, the people that wrote into this chick, the Becca Martinez, nobody knows who they are. Mm-hmm. They're just random accounts with mm-hmm. dogs as their faces that are like leo yeah. was weird to me once yes it's like who the fuck is that yeah. i mean technically maybe not a bot but it could be it could be some kind of troll but yeah. either way i mean that's like a bot you probably sent a cockpit to that bot accidentally i, did. I mean if they said they were a female um that's yeah. all i need yeah yeah mm-hmm. the, their ai saw the phallus shape in its inbox yeah. and it canceled you automatically there are leo cancel bots <laughs> god damn it be dude. warned uh, be i know warned. for sure for sure there are leo cancel bots it's unfortunate but it's true I'm not saying I'm as funny as Ricky Gervais at all. Not even close. Mm -hmm. Different leagues. I mean, he is a titan of comedy. But if he can be called unfunny, untalented, hack, and not worthy of picking up a microphone and going on stage, then I need to stop stressing. You need to stop stressing about being canceled because there's no way to avoid it. And these people who are running the cancellation Mm -hmm. don't have a funny Adam in their fucking body they just don't get it yeah <clears throat> i don't like the death threats a lot of those people are saying that they want to kill us in the comments oh that's standing. nice yeah, of them it's very nice of them huh well they're is... they're higher forms of human <laughs> they're above us they're, they're down, better than us they are they they're are down i guess they're better than us but they're really down to go to jail for that i mean for a long time for killing one of us i mean it would be just in cold blood listen we brought the kid one of those nerf footballs yeah, do you see that kid? Vortex. Those oh, are the know. best. He was a good kid, you know? That kid's Looked throwing... a little mal- malnourished, but... He's throwing balls like Josh <laughs> Allen right now. Dude. Despite his slender frame, because that thing, that tail, the little fin, it stabilizes it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it gives him confidence. Yeah. But what is confidence but the, the literally the lifeblood yes. of the world? Hey, that kid's going to fucking succeed because we gave him that nerf ball. What if that kid deposes Vladimir Putin in 30 years? What if Vladimir's still hanging on? He's ruling from a wheelchair, sort of like FDR. Mm-hmm. And that kid, given renewed confidence because you and I let him throw 60 yard bombs with mm-hmm. that Vortex football. <laughs> 60 yard bombs. What if he leads a coup and he ousts Vladimir Putin and he saves the former USSR and all its territories? Well, I hope that when he makes his, you know, his speech, his celebratory speech, he mentions us. I he mentions so. us. He can't do a good Russian accent. Borat, Borat. No, it's it's more Borat, like Borat. Give the man his money. So he's like, I have one man. I have two men to say they've changed my life. I received the Nerf football from nice. Danny Mullen and Leo Dutavio. Not bad, Leo. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> about right. It's about right. And we're referring. And they changed of my life. We're referring, of course. He tried to fuck my sister, but he, I forgive him. <laughs> It's possible there are rumors she's whore, so I, it's possible she, he did fuck my sister. She was number three prostitute in all of refugee <laughs> camp. <laughs> it's a Borat joke. She sucked off at least Borat. four people already before them, so jokes on them. <laughs> that wasn't a Borat joke. No, that Better be careful, Leo. We're talking, of course, about the picking up hot Ukrainian refugees video. It's the next 
on a, a long, long list of things we've been canceled for. I can't even fucking keep track anymore. <clears throat> so all I can say, you tried to go after Chappelle. You tried to go after Gervais. By doing that, you revealed how not, not knowledgeable you are about comedy. And you made me stop giving a fuck. Mm -hmm. Because if those geniuses are getting canceled, well, I'm doing something right to be like them. Yes.